All right, I have been waiting for this feature of ChatGPT for some time and it's here. Today we are going to talk about ChatGPT Code Interpreter. First of all, let me tell you that this feature right now is available only to plus members of ChatGPT as a beta feature, okay? And I don't think they will keep it like this for long and after a while, they will release it to public, right? So, but right now it is only available to ChatGPT Plus members. Now, if you come here to your ChatGPT and uh, hover your mouse on ChatGPT4, here you will have Code Interpreter Beta. Now, if you are a Plus member, but you don't see it here, all you need to do is to open this window on the left, click on the three dots at the bottom, open, click on the settings, then go to beta features and turn code interpreter on, okay? So when you turn it on, it will be available here. All you need to do is to select it. Now I will show you what you can do with this feature. So if you pay attention when I selected code interpreter at the bottom here, let me make it bigger. This option appeared, upload file, okay? So the main use of it is that you can upload different files on ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to complete some tasks or to analyze some of the data inside that file. So for example, let's say I'm gonna open a PDF. Here um, I have a book, Animal Farm, okay? I'm gonna upload it here. Then I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to go through this PDF and tell me the key points. Okay, I wrote down that please use code interpreter to review this PDF file and then write the key points with examples here for me. Now, sometimes if you don't write use code, please use code interpreter. If you don't mention it, um, it will not do the process uh, very well. Okay, so I always, when I want to use code interpreter, I will tell ChatGPT to use it. So let's see what it will do. Now, when you do this, uh, in the back, it writes some Python code. Okay, right now it will use only Python, okay? In the back, it will write some Python code that this code will go ahead and read this PDF and then find the content that we want, okay? All right, as you can see, it said that it wasn't successful and there were some problems, okay, because the um, file was a little bit large. So I'm gonna try it again with a smaller PDF of this book, okay? So I'm gonna copy this prompt and I'm gonna come here and here I have another PDF of this book, okay? And now I'm gonna paste the prompt and try it again. This time it should be more successful. All right here, as you can see, it is trying, it is writing the code, okay? And here it is. So here are the key points and examples from uh, this PDF. Number one is this, number two is this, number three, old major, okay? Number four, animal characters. So it's really useful. Uh, now, as I said, it is on beta version and it has some um, bugs or issues we can say, but anyway, what code interpreter does is that it will write Python code to complete some tasks, okay? And it's very interesting. I will show you a little bit later that how you can analyze data using um, code interpreter and how useful it is, okay? So for example, uh, another way that we can use it, we can uh, mention a website and ask ChatGPT to create a QR code for it. For example, I'm gonna say, Right, I mentioned that use code interpreter to create QR code for this website. Then I mentioned one website and it wrote the code for it, right? And here is the QR code. If I click on it, it will download it, right? And let me open it and bring it here for you. Right, here is the uh, QR code that ChatGPT created for us, okay? Now, it doesn't need for you to know Python, okay? It will do this on the back, but if you know how to use Python, it will be really interesting. You can learn from it and see how ChatGPT is doing this, or you can use the same code in some of your projects, okay? Another use of the code interpreter is that you can, for example, upload a zip file and ask the code interpreter to 
uh, analyze the items inside it or arrange it for or extract for example this format of files out of it and save it in another zip file also you can for example upload an image and tell ChatGPT to create a gif out of it for example here i have let's select one of these images for example this image okay now i'm gonna tell ChatGPT to use code interpreter and create a GIF that zoom in the picture. All right. So I mentioned that use code interpreter to create a GIF using the uploaded image that is slowly zoom in the image. So here is the code. It's writing it. Okay. It's using some Python libraries. And in a moment, our GIF will be ready. Okay. Here's the GIF. And now I can click on download, All right? Let me open it with Chrome. Okay. So I'm going to drag and drop it here and you can see it is a slowly zooming in. Now I can increase the speed of it and make it faster. Okay. This is another way that you can use code interpreter, or you can, for example, upload a GIF and tell ChatGPT to convert it into MP4. For example, here I have another GIF. Okay. And use code interpreter right it's writing the code to convert gif into mp4 okay now sometimes it tries as you can see here and it failed okay for some issues then it apologize and try another way okay or you can push it further okay it failed this time can you try another way to complete this task and as you can see the second way was successful and the mp4 is ready and here it is let me open it you see this was gif now it is mp4 right so now let's jump into more interesting things that we can do with ChatGPT code interpreter now here i downloaded a csv file let me show you okay i downloaded a csv file software professional salaries okay it's a csv file that includes uh, the average salaries uh, of people who are doing software programming worldwide okay and now we want to upload this csv file into ChatGPT and tell code interpreter to analyze this and um, explain this to us explain this csv file to us using graphs and images right so let's do that i'm gonna click on upload Come to this file and software professional salaries. All right. So I mentioned that use code interpreter to explain this CSV file to me with graphs and charts. Okay. Now you see it wrote a code. Okay, it's jumping. It wrote the code and it uploaded. And now it is explaining it to us. Okay. About the ratings, about the company name, for example, about the salary. Now it is trying to generate the graphs. Now it's writing a code that will analyze the data and it will generate the graphs for us. Okay. Here it is. As you can see, I didn't tell ChatGPT to compare what to what. For example, here we have rating with frequency. Okay. And as you can see, it's really great. Let me zoom back a little. It's really great the way it did it. Okay. And here we have, for example, salary comparing to rating right and it explained more okay i can go deeper into this if i have for example a specific csv file about some specific topic i can tell chat gpt that all right create a graph about this specific part of the csv file and compare these two um, numbers together for example or for example we can come here and we can tell chat gpt that create a marketing plan for me i want to sell a product for example, I want to sell a smartphone and I want you to create a marketing plan for me, then use code interpreter to create graphs and charts and diagrams for this marketing plan. So let's do that. All right, I mentioned that I want you to create a complete marketing plan for my product, which is an online course about web development, right? And uh, then I want you to use code interpreter to create diagrams, charts, and graphs for this marketing plan. Okay. Now it is 
Here it is creating the structure for this marketing plan. Okay. It is explaining the plan to me. Okay. And all the steps. Okay. That we need to take. Now it is writing the codes to complete the next step that I mentioned, which is creating graphs and diagrams. Okay. So it is doing that. Now, it will do this job much better if you provide additional data that, for example, I'm going to release this product in this country, in this location, and these are, for example, my target users. And as you can see, it is completing the second task. So, for example, here we have marketing budget allocation that it is comparing budgets in dollars to social media marketing strategies, for example, for SEO for content marketing, for social media, for partnership and email marketing, how much probably we need to spend. And let me zoom back a little so we can see all parts of the chart at the same time. So we have some of the competitors. So as I said, if you provide additional information, if you mention that, all right, I have different competitors, these are their names, these are their website, these are what they're doing, okay? Uh, and provide additional information, ChatGPT can create better content for you. Or if you have these data on a CSV file, you can just upload it and boom, it will create everything for you. Very simple. Okay. So this is implementation of the plan, right? And uh, all the tasks on the left side comparing through the time. Okay. So let me ask ChatGPT to create a diagram and um, show me all the steps that we need to take uh, for this marketing plan. So I wrote down that now can you use code interpreter to create a diagram that shows each step of this marketing plan that I need to take in order. Okay, I want to see the steps in order. Now it is, it wrote the steps at the beginning, right? It explained it here. Here are the steps that I need to take. So it wrote a code, it mentioned all the steps, and now it should create the diagram for us. Okay, so here it is the diagram, okay, from where we need to start, from executive summary, then go for product description, then for go for market analysis, and so on. Okay, it's really great. It's really changing what uh, we have been doing, especially in marketing and programming it make our work much easier. Okay. Uh, it's as I, I made this example before it was like that till now we were walking and now cars came in and, and now we can drive much faster. So the speed of everything was increased because of AI, especially ChatGPT. Okay. So that was all about the new update, the code interpreter and how you can use it to complete your tasks. If you have any question, you can write it down for me and I will see you soon.